Well, it's a must have for a lot of people, especially in the morning, but also after lunch, even sometimes at night for a little pick me up. But for others, the taste of coffee turns them off. A local coffee maker told us he hated drinking coffee just a few years ago, but now his Oakland Coffee Company is booming. KTVU's Claudine Wong found out the secret to his success and his new love of coffee. Chris Cooper is very particular about his coffee. The president and founder of this Oakland-based coffee company hasn't always been a fan. Started Black Medicine ultimately because I hated coffee. I hated coffee because I had, as I found out later, always had bad coffee. Then about five years ago, at the age of 58, something remarkable happened. He had his first really good cup of Joe. So many as I found out, once you taste a really good cup of coffee, it can change your world. Then it became a sort of a quest for me, uh, the quest to see if I could develop a repeatably good, consistently good cup of coffee. It's a long time to wait for a really good cup of coffee. Yeah, it <laughs> is. And, uh, and so I, I missed a lot of good years, I suppose. He's been trying to make up for lost time, experimenting with coffee, opening up a coffee bar, something that taught this chemist slash techie. All the different ways that coffee can be made into a bad cup of coffee. But he also learned how to make the iced coffee known as black medicine. He did that by switching things up. The traditional cold brewing process is pretty simple. They take a bunch of beans, grind it up, stick it in a big vat and let it sit overnight, and then strain out the grounds and bottle it up. And, and that's a very simple uh, approach to making cold brew coffee. What we do is quite a little, lot more complicated than that. The Black Medicine team brews its iced coffee hot and under pressure, which they say adds flavor. They also brew it under nitrogen, which they say keeps the oxygen out and improves taste and shelf life. Then it's all chilled and bottled. Cooper says no one else does it like that. Companies have tried. And in fact, there, there have been a few companies that I know of that have talked to me and said that they tried to duplicate our method, gave up, and now they're doing cold brew. It is strong, stronger than the regular stuff. I can only drink a half a bottle of one of ours. But it all seems to be catching on. We started out uh, in my apartment. We moved to uh, a warehouse of 2,000 square feet. We were there for a year. We're now at a new location. Our new location is in Oakland near the Coliseum, and it's 18,000 square feet. So we're growing pretty fast. Still, Cooper is careful not to grow too fast. Right now, black medicine is only available at stores on the West Coast. It has to be refrigerated, so transport is tough, and Cooper says he won't compromise quality. We just want to make good coffee. He knows all too well a good cup can be hard to find. In Oakland, Claudine Wong, KTVU, Fox 2 News.